In this video, I just want to give you a quick comparison between the previous gen iPad, which is the iPad 4, as well as the new iPad Air. Just to talk about what has changed outside and inside these iPads. And I'll be putting some Geekbench scores in the description for you to have a look at the comparisons between the performance. So let's go ahead and start. As I put the iPad Air over the iPad 4, the first thing you'll notice is that the bezel is much, much more thinner on the iPad Air. Although the screen size remains the same, and so does the pixel density. And it is about 20% thinner than the previous generation. The other thing you'll notice, it's now much thinner. It's only 7.5 millimeters thin now. So it's thinner and also has a smaller bezel. And most noticeably, it is much, much more lighter. It feels much better to hold. The whole design itself and the weight itself, it's about 200 grams less than what it was before, which is quite a significant difference. So uh, lighter, thinner, and as well as faster. I'll come to that in a moment. And of course, uh, it does look redesigned. Um, I do have a screen protector on top of this, but it just gives you an idea of uh, a couple of the design changes. When I say redesigned, I mean the addition of zero speakers, as well as um, the size factor, the weight factor. So uh, the new iPad Air comes now in space gray, which is this one, and the white and silver whereas the old iPads came in white or black, basically. Now, the other addition is dual mics, as you can see up here. So the noise cancellation is obviously is much better. So you have dual mics now. And uh, the addition of stereo speakers, which are at the bottom. So, so if you look at the iPad 4, you can notice there's just one set of speakers, but on the iPad Air, there are two set of speakers on either side of the lightning connector. The volume button is also something else that has been changed. And basically, it's just one whole unit that you use to increase or decrease the volume. Whereas in the case of the iPad Air, it's two separate buttons that you use. Also for the LTE models, when it comes to the SIM card, the iPad 4 used micro SIM cards, whereas the iPad Air is now going to use nano SIM cards. So you'll have to either change your SIM card or cut it down so that you can use it on the iPad Air. Now that's most of the things covered in terms of the uh, hardware and the outside of the iPad. Um, coming to the inside of the iPad, the Retina display size and resolution stays the same as it was in the previous gen, which is the iPad 4. The processor has now been upgraded to an A7 processor with a M7 coprocessor. So uh, you get a, obviously a much faster performance and it also has a 64-bit architecture as well. And apparently there's a uh, 1 gig DDR3 RAM in the iPad Air now. Um, apart from that, the front-facing camera is the same as, as well as the back camera, but you can now do HDR uh, photos with the back camera of the iPad Air. The Wi-Fi has been improved and it also incorporates MIMO technology. There's also support for more LTE bands around the world and the battery is now 32.4 watt hours. If you ask me whether you should upgrade if you have an iPad 4 and you, do, you don't want to upgrade to the iPad Air, in terms of performance, look, the iPad Air is still faster, but it doesn't really warrant for a change. A couple of main reasons you would want to change to an iPad Air is because of the slightly smaller footprint and mainly because of the weight. It just weighs one pound now. That makes a major difference. Apart from that, you can pretty much stick to your iPad 4 or iPad 3. Uh, if you had you know, an older iPad, like an iPad 2, um, then you know, it definitely warrants for a change. But if you have an iPad 4 and you don't really care about you know, sort of the size and the weight, then stick to it until the next generation. I would recommend that. So basically, that was a quick look at uh, the differences between the iPad Air as well as the iPad 4 Gen. If I miss something, I'll definitely put it in the description or as an annotation. And I will also put some Geekbench results in the description. Leave a comment below letting me know if you're going to buy the iPad Air or if you've already bought one. And why did you buy it and which devices did you move from? Stay tuned to my channel. Do stay subscribed. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Thank you for watching.